Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. Oh, Lara's just, Lara's literally just spotted some cows. Yeah, they literally look like you, Lara. Today it is hot. It's really, really hot. Come on, walk on. It's really hot. Um, <clears throat> I think we're looking at like 20, 29 degrees Celsius, which I know for some people they're like, oh, that's not hot at all. That is literally fine. But for us Brits, um, it's warm. So next week I have an event and it's about this time of year I stress because my ground in my field is just rock hard and I can't do anything in it. I can probably, I do walk and halt work, but I never, I don't do that much trot and I definitely don't canter or jump. So luckily, uh, a few weeks ago I, let, I met a lovely girl called Charlotte who has kindly today spoken to her yard manager and she is letting me use the arena, which is fabulous. So it's just literally a short hack up the road, which is what we're doing now. And uh, so we're going, well, I say it's early. I said I'd be there for 8.30 and I think I'm on time actually, but I wouldn't say that's early because it's already absolutely boiling hot. I just didn't want to turn up at like six in the morning at not my yard. So I will see you guys there. We're going to go through my dressage test Oop, for next week. It's quite spooky this morning. Obviously she's never been in this arena before. So I'm going to spend five, 10 minutes just walking her around and getting her used to everything. She says, Mummy, there's horse flies. I can't see it. Okay. And those two boys there are Lara's friends. <laughs> circling her round until she feels a bit more relaxed. anticipates and doesn't keep that four beat rhythm. So I always have to work on relaxing my thigh and keeping her moving on my leg but not jogging. So I'll do a few walk transitions just by using well the skills that I learned on the back to basics series where I would just slow my rising now you can see what we practicing, she does it pretty well. I'll do a few of those just to make sure she's really listening to my body and not just on my hand. I'm not even using my hand at all. Yeah. Like Catherine has to do. <laughs>
Well, God, that was good. having a camp on this rain soon. Yeah. So I just like to throw a couple of transitions in the mix just to break it up. Because she is right, at some point we will be having a camp up. But it's just got to be my decision and not hers. Because otherwise she'll do it in the middle of a dressage test. Terrible. 
really terrible. which I just kind of sat there my turns on the, some of the loops of my serpentines I wasn't really concentrating I was allowing her to cut in um, so it's working on my straightness and uh, but I have been working on my holt I bet Charlotte's probably going to disagree but in my opinion that was quite, <laughs> probably quite good for us um, because I've noticed that she always leave this hind out so I've been making sure I've been putting this leg on just to kind of try and bring her up from behind and get her to stand a bit square. But the fact that she's actually standing is quite good. So yeah, no, I'm happy with that. So I'm not going to go through the whole test again because it's quite hot. But I will just do finish on some nice three loop serpentines just, just to see if we can do them a bit better. Um, and then I, think, then I think we're okay to stop there. So, come on, Lara. Wowie woo -wah. I am hot and so is Lara, so I'm quite happy with that session. So uh, this is this is the lady behind the camera, this is Charlotte, and you can follow Charlotte on Miss Cooper Show Ponies on Instagram, is that it? And what's your YouTube? Same on YouTube guys, so if you want to follow Charlotte and her two lovely horses, she does showing, hence the name, um, then you can. We're gonna, I'm just gonna finish walking Lara off now. And then we're going to trundle our way back to the yard and then I think it's going to be bath time. So I am back at the yard now. I have brought the ponies in. So Bonnie, oh sorry, she had a little fly on her face. <laughs> Bonnie and Lara have both come in because it's lunchtime. They normally come in at lunchtime and especially when it's hot. So today I thought because it's so hot and Lara worked so hard this morning, I'm going to, well, give her a bath. This is actually a special bath though. So this is in celebration of a new partnership between me and three wonderful brands and the brands are, drum roll please, Bread Mills, woo! 
Cardin Martin, woo! And Foreign Equine, woo! Red Mills suggested that I feed their performer care balancer, which will give her everything that she needs to make sure she is fully on tip top form. So it's just a little bit for them to make sure that they've got the salts they need, the electrolytes and everything. <laughs> Talking of electrolytes, that is where Foreign Equine come in. They do supplements. So Lara is on at the moment with them, the Ostoflex, which is a joint supplement because Lara is 15, she's older. So she needs a little bit of support with her joints and that's what the Ostoflex does. She is also on Nutricalm. They also have refuel electrolyte liquid, which is great, which means on days like this, she can have a day, five days before a competition, you just pop, 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 pop it in the feed, little squirt, and uh, it gives them all the salt replenishment and yes, keeps them tip top. And lastly, we have Car Day and Martin. Now I've used Car Day and Martin since I was this high and what a fantastic range of products they had. I was really lucky. They sent me, well, they must have sent me the entire range because I had one big delivery and oh my gosh, literally everything under the sun that you could possibly want from shampoo, stain remover, foot care, tack cleaner, literally the whole works. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. Laura Lee needs a bath. She needs to get clean and I'm going to test run some of my new products which I'm really excited about and Laura Lee is going to be fresh and clean. <laughs> and I'm going to use the extra strength shampoo for horses with dirty greasy coats which is this one um, which was one of the many and I'm going to use this on her body her legs with the lavender liniment rinse and rub if your horse is a bit like achy or feeling a bit stiff and I figured if we've done a hard session this morning I mean I think I've got this rubbed on me personally but anyway so yeah on her bum would not recommend putting this on the saddle area guys unless you want to slip into another realm but this is guys just as a finisher offer the new one and she's off she's had enough has I think you enjoyed your bath didn't you darling yeah she enjoyed her bath now she's gonna stay in and chill 
for the rest of the afternoon. Um, I do, will also mention, as well as the Dream Coat, this is my favourite product of the Cardo Martin range, and that is the mane and tail. And this is the best mane and tail that I have ever used, hands down. Recommend for a friend. So I think all in all, we've had a rather productive day, haven't we? I've ridden, I've gone through my test for next week. Bonnie is having a yawn. So in light of my new collaboration with the three, <laughs> the, the three lovely brands that I mentioned, Red Mills, Cardet and Martin and Foreign Equine, I'm actually doing a giveaway over on my Instagram. So my Instagram is Footloose Eventing. So you guys have the chance to win one of two I'm giving away two prize bundles. And what you can win is a pair of socks, a baseball cap, and a fly veil from Red Mills. You can win the dream coat, mane and tail, and extra strong fly spray from Cardio Martin, and a baseball cap. From Foreign Equine, you can win the pre-fuel and refuel gel packs, and you can win three of each in a drawstring bag, and with a baseball cap as well, because you know, horse girls, just can't have enough baseball caps. So if you want to go and enter, it is live. Well, it'll be live now. Anyway, let's wrap this up. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed our little schooling session this morning and also Lara's bath time. I'm just looking at her now. I'll show you in a second, but she is super, super sleepy. So she's going to have a little nap in her stable now. I'm going to go off to the pub, have some lunch, maybe a glass of wine. Is it acceptable to go as what I'm wearing? I mean, I have got a smart Red Mills top on and uh, my toggy riding tights. Let's just ignore the fact that they smell of horse poo. Anyway, thank you. Make sure you give my video a like, leave me a comment and subscribe if you want to see more. And guys, I will see you very, very soon. Maybe before next Monday, who knows? Take care, have a good week, goodbye.